welcome back to Detroit Garage. Uh, a milestone for the old rig. We've got 40,000 miles uh, on veg oil. Yeah, 40,000 miles. And uh, 50,000 miles on the swap now. On the uh, Detroit swap in this truck. <clears throat> Couldn't be happier. Um, yeah, really happy with the results. Uh, no issues. So everything's pretty much dialed in. Uh, so this is the update for the 40,000 miles. I've had yeah, zero issues in the last two and a half years or so. I've been running this system for just around three years and um, it's been fantastic. So uh, yeah. On top of running the, uh, the veg oil, I'm also running uh, water methanol. And um, that was my idea of solving any coking issues that may arise with running the veg oil. And I think that's the success. Uh, recently, I upgraded the injectors in the truck. <laughs> that didn't work out so well. So I've got the other, the older injectors back in it again. And while it was apart, oh, I was really happy. Um, injectors looked like the day I put them in. Really clean, just really nice. Uh, the turbo housing was um, chocolate brown. Uh, the heat deflector on the turbine side was chocolate brown. Pistons, chocolate brown. Everything was really, really nice. So. Whatever I'm doing, it's working perfectly. So, um, so I'm running it on diesel. I start and stop on diesel. I just got two minutes. Uh, come up to this light here, and um, I'll put it on uh, veg oil. So I don't know if the camera can see that, but this is the veg oil here. I'm just gonna flick it on veg now. So this is. The length of time I run it on ve or, uh, on diesel, <clears throat> and now it's running on veg oil. It's free. Um, apart from the hour a week I spend processing and collecting, uh, it's an hour of my time for uh, a trade-off for free fuel. So we're headed out to one of my restaurants that I collect from this morning um, to pick up the oil. So. I've done previous videos, but I'll bring you along for giggles. Um, yeah, very happy with what's uh, with the veg oil system. diesel heater in this truck so I, I plug it in um, in the evenings and it's the block I've got a block heater as well so what it does the block heaters on a timer warms the engine up to about a hundred degrees Fahrenheit and then about 30 minutes before I leave I start the Webasto that warms the engine up warms the veg oil up and um, it takes about two to three minutes on diesel before I can switch to veg oil. So, yeah, really ha happy with that. And then for the rest of the day, um, I run on, on veg oil. And if I shut it down for any more than an hour and a half, I, uh, I shut it down on diesel again. So, that's the routine. It's... Uh, Super efficient, really, really cheap to run. So uh, I'll bring you back when I'm collecting the veg oil and talk a little bit more about that.
dumps yesterday. Normally, they fill it up to this mark here. That's uh, normally how it goes. So they didn't dump on Friday. Today's Saturday. So this is the contraption, small block Chevy um, oil pump, hooked up to a 24 volt scooter motor um, and bored uh, to three quarter inch um, black pipe. And that's it. So that's the collection barrel. <clears throat> And I've tested this system down to minus 23 degrees centigrade. There's not much oil today. They didn't dump yesterday, so it'll be a couple of minutes and that's it. <laughs> This is it. That's the routine every Saturday. Uh, I alternate three different restaurants. Sometimes I do all three, like every second week I do all three and then uh, uh, alternate. Summertime I get more oil. I guess people eat more, so. I collect from two Asian restaurants and then one Western. Uh, chip fry burger place. Yeah, it takes like <clears throat> no time at all. You can see the chip bits in the bottom there. And that screen I use on the hose is uh, just a hydraulic pickup uh, filter. You can buy it any hydraulic shop. That's my pre-filter. And that's it guys. Like three minutes and we're done. The only uh, another big downfall. <laughs> I'm not the tidiest person, uh, so some of the veg oil gets on the truck. So after a while, it starts to look like a farm truck. And <laughs> as a matter of fact, when I go down to the States, they ask me if this is a farm truck. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, <clears throat> we're back at the shop. So that's the uh, the veg switch here. So down is on veg and up is on diesel. So I just purged the system now because I'm shutting the truck down for about four or five hours. And, um, and that's the routine. So I, I usually run it on diesel about eh, five minutes before I shut it down. Just purges out all the, uh, the veg oil and yeah, keeps, uh, keeps everything in.
right guys, so <clears throat> now I, I take that drum and I empty it into one of these three drums here. Simple, cheap. And after it's, after the drum is full, I then hook it up to shop air at six, five and a half to six PSI. And it takes about a week to transfer the oil from there over to the next settling system. And it just comes out at a trickle. And then the oil through gravity again goes to the bottom of this tank on a PVC pipe. The, uh, the light oil comes to the top the heavy stuff settles at the bottom and then it goes into this tank, that tank. So when this tank's full, I then pump it into that tank. And then I draw from this tank to my truck through this pump. It goes 25, 10, and two. The two has been removed because of winter time, it's too cold to pump through the two. So, There, that's empty now. So I pretty much fill up about three quarters a drum a week, roughly. And there it is there. So here's the setup. 25 gallon heated tank. It gets heated from the engine coolant and the return uh, veg oil from the engine. And it's up against a 45 to 50 gallon uh, saddle tank. And this is unheated, but heat is transferred from this tank into this one as well. And uh, that's the system. Runs through the hoses down here underneath the truck. And into a, uh, a Raycor filter there that's insulated. So the veg oil comes into these valves over to the engine driven pump for the uh, fuel system into that insulated secondary filter and then into the uh, engine uh, and where it's burned. So from the 10 micron it goes into the uh, injectors and it's burned. Whatever's not burned returns at 180 degrees back to the, uh, the veg tank. So that's how that works. The water meth system I showed on another video but there it is there, that's the sensor, and that's the injector line below it. I inject uh, 500 cc's at 15 psi of boost, and that works really well. And there's the Detroit in her glory. There's the water meth tank. I burn about a gallon a week driving in town and on low setting about a half a gallon an hour on the highway. So uh, 
That's the veg system uh, summary, guys. That's it. Free fuel. Well, there you have it, guys. That's a 40,000 mile update on the veg system. Running perfect. So, yeah, about an hour a week I spend on this collecting, filtering. So, uh, yeah, very happy with it. And uh, again, thanks for checking in, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.